Mark Pitner here. We've got uh, we've got you on Hawks TV's number one show with Hawks TV's number one host, um, with Hawks TV's best looking host. Um, the list goes on and on. Uh, how do you feel about being on the show? Not too sure about the best looking host, but pretty proud to be on it so far. And uh, we're going to get heaps out of Pitto today from uh, that response. So <laughs> buckle up and. Uh, uh, enjoy. Um, we'll whip straight into it. We've got Eliza Knox. Uh, she wants to know, how did you find out you were playing your first game? And who told you? Who called you? Just run us through the whole thing. Uh, so I was meant to be playing VFL on Sunday. And about 20 minutes before the warm-up on Sunday for the VFL, they pulled me out and said, you're a chance to play. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, prepare like normal as if you're playing. We'll call you Monday morning. So it gets to Monday morning and they said they call me around 8, 9 o'clock. So I've woken up at 9 o'clock and gone, still don't have a phone call. So my next 40 minutes, probably I got to call about 9.40. Next 40 minutes from about 9 to 9.40, I was just staring at my phone waiting for this call, trying to keep it as normal as possible. Uh, I ended up getting a call from Chris Fagan, but just calling up saying, hey Mark, just so you know, you're in. Uh, someone will call you with the details and congratulations and then just kind of hung up. <laughs> and then, yeah, so I just let my family know straight away, called on my best mate, and then just turned my phone off, really. Well, that's Snozz's synopsis of uh, his Monday morning. Now, mate, uh, how would you enjoy it? This is a question from me. Uh, big crowd, 75,000. Was it what you expected? Uh, it's definitely a lot louder than I expected, uh, especially being, the f being in there for the first bounce. Uh, as soon as the siren goes and the bulls bounce for the first time, everyone erupts. I've never experienced anything like it. I think the biggest crowd I'd ever played in front of before Monday was... 15,000. I thought that was pretty big. Yeah, fair step up. Uh, we've got a rise or a Rasi chicken or at the Fisherman AU. <laughs> so uh, what's the correct pronunciation of your surname? Is it a fine wine or? Uh, it is Pitanet. I have been asked this a lot this week, especially on Monday. A lot of debate, but it is Pitonet. Pitonet. French? Uh, it, Italian. Probably Italian could be French. Could be French. Could be French. So you're in the mountains, eh? Up near Milan? Uh, not sure. Not sure. <laughs> so, so Pitto doesn't know any of his family history. <laughs> uh, we've got Todd. What's the best nickname you've ever had? Uh, I've probably got two at the club that are my, probably my two best. So one, I got Gonzo after the Muppet. If you don't know who that is, feel free to Google it. You can see pretty quickly why that's me. The other one I get from a few players is Swaggy P. From there's a LA Laker player called Nick Young. Don't know if he's still there, but he's called Swaggy P, and someone just thought they'd start calling me it. Just caught on. You got a bit of swagger there around the club. You're starting to get a bit of who are the haircut's growing back though. Yeah, no, I think I'm due for another haircut. Need another fade. <laughs> uh, we've got Samantha. Who are your best mates at the club? Uh, apart from you, yeah. Uh, Probably Tay Miles, Dan Howe, Lockie Langford, Jermaine Lewis, all the blokes you're drafted with, naturally pretty close with. Then, yeah, just Alex Woodward and the other young guys. Yeah, and you're, uh, you're one of those Xavier boys, so I reckon you might have a few a few mates from Xavier, do you? Yeah, you got Howe in Spanger, so nice and close to them. They all stick together, those Xavier boys. Uh, we've got Lynn. Uh, you were in their face on Monday. Yep, you were in Geelong's face, I'm guessing, on Monday. Tried to be. Which we loved. Um, how hard is it to be defensive but still attack at the tap out? Uh, so I guess that's a question about how I ruck. So obviously not being a biggest jumper, I try to really crash into the opposition ruck. Uh, it's not too hard. It's just trying to be really aggressive, make sure they can't just jump over you um, and then come back to the ball after you hit them, really. Well, they'd be doing well to jump over the top of you, I would have thought. Yeah, it's hard to get over my nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got Deb. She says congratulations on your first game. Uh, what were the feelings when you actually ran out onto the MCG? Uh, couldn't really feel my legs when I first ran out. Like, running up the race with all the players, you come out, you got the banner in front of you. I'd actually never run in front of, through a banner before in my life. So that was a first, another first as well for the week. Um, but yeah, you don't, you don't feel your legs until, I don't know, 50 steps in. I was just on air for ages. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't say that very often. I'm 100 kilos. I don't run on air very often. Yeah. It's very rare. <laughs> Mate, I can, uh, I can be alongside you there when you're playing your first game. You just feel as light as a feather. Uh, and last one, we've got Sophia. If you could choose any country in the world to go to, what would it be and why? Uh, it'd have to be America just because I love all their sports, all the sport focus there. So basketball in particular is growing up playing basketball. I just love the NBA. I would love to live in America, especially in New York. Hopefully for not a few years yet. 
Yeah, I couldn't even get that out. Yeah. Hopefully not for a few years. Yeah, one day, hopefully long down the track, long way down the track. Yeah, I'm sure it will be, and uh, I'm sure you're going to have a long career at Hawthorne. So thanks for joining us, Pitto, and uh, I'm sure there's many more games to come and um, hopefully many more opportunities for you to be on a show like this, hosted by a host like this. Thanks for having me. I hope I've set the standard for the rest of the year. I'm sure you have, mate, and uh, you talked a hell of a lot more than a lot of the other boys. So uh, thanks, guys, for listening up and tuning in to, obviously, uh, Hawks. TV number one show. I'm sure it will be again in 2016. And uh, apologies for Monday, but I'm sure we'll make a correction on Sunday. So have a good weekend.